Hello, Commander. I can't see you. Got a light on your forehead. Hey, sorry, I'm trying to do 10 things today. Okay. Good morning. So you're getting uh, attacked by three empires? Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, well, I decided to colonize. I decided to send a couple ships into the middle of the map so I'd have like a strategic location. And then I colonized a planet or two. And yeah, they didn't like that, apparently. <laughs> the three of them? Yeah. Or just were they like a united group? Uh, I think they are, yeah. That could be tough. Yeah, and two of them are probably the two top players of the game. Like, they've been playing really consistently. That's the one I was telling you had, like, 900 telescope studies and stuff. Uh-oh. How big yeah. is fleet? I guess you've got intel on everybody, eh? <laughs> I do, but I'm trying not to use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. You actually know how the game works. You know how the whole thing goes. Your research, you can do your research perfectly but well, you don't have shields yet i don't have shields yet no you have but i'm uh, i'm researching advanced warfare right now so i'll have uh, particle beams very soon oh and is that that goes through shields um no um actually if you have flux cairns it does double damage to shields they're probably the best thing but no they're just pretty powerful yeah and because it's a beam weapon, there's three kinds of weapons in the game. There's beams, cannons, and uh, missiles. And so like if you build ground batteries or automated defense nets, they just automatically have the best beam, missiles, cannons, etc. Oh. But like your ground batteries, they only have beam weapons and they have the best beam weapons you have. But until you get advanced warfare with particle beams, you have microwave beams the whole time and they suck. So they, they don't do any damage to shields. Like, they just won't even work on ships with shields, and otherwise, they're not very good anyway. So, I'm thinking that uh, these little conversations we have might be useful to the rest of the players, <laughs> considering they don't know any of this. It could be, yeah. Um, but I mean, it's beta, so everyone's just testing. What else could you tell me? Like, you've got double the amount of metal alloys that I got. Well, I do have robotic mining. Do you have robotic mining? I've got robotic mining too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I honestly spent like a week basically just concentrating on getting metal alloys because I pretty much ran out and I wasn't able to do much at all. Um, so, yeah, I guess one thing, uh, if you want, I can share my screen and show you some stuff then. Yeah. All right, might as well. For sure. Do a little bit of a I mean, tutorial. Got, I saw you got 19 colonies. I think I've got 14. So you got five more than me. Uh, is that right? I got yeah, really I tired of, of just going around colonizing everything and realizing I had no fleet. All right. Well, make me the host for a sec here. I will share my screen and show you like a little bit of what I know. I don't know everything. I might have built a game, but you know, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to play it. <laughs> how how like is it kind of going the way you thought it would go uh like with the like the, just the game playing like from a player's point of view yeah yeah most of it's pretty straightforward to what i expected i mean it's just the way it feels is always hard to judge uh, uh you know ahead of time so yeah, like the fact that it starts out really slow and there's really not much to do, you know, that's, I guess, sort of expected, but not, not you know, wanted. <laughs> How many players are in the game right now? Uh, I think almost 30 still. Still 30. Okay. So uh, I think we had a couple drop off this week or so. Oh, I see you retracted your proposal. Well, I was thinking I didn't want to go to war with the... I thought. Yeah, so here's my politics screen, for example. I got this guy, this guy, and also this guy. <laughs> yeah. 
And so, yeah, like, so one thing I did for the metal alloys is I went to the civic screen mm. and then I go to planet surveys. Uh huh. It takes a second because I surveyed so many. And then I changed this to uh, rich met or most metal alloys. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then I also look at the size. So like this one's not, you know, it's pretty big, but here we go. This one. So this will have, because it's giant uh, or huge, even huge is like pretty good. Giant doubles all your resources, but huge is pretty good too. And oh, gravity is medium. So anyway, I just look at the planet size and the habitability basically. And if it's decent habit, like tolerable or better, and it's big. And, you know, you can see here it's got oh this know, is for all surveys not just your these are for all the planets you've surveyed yeah that's why oh, shit yeah okay. this little that's hidden, pretty... hidden jam of a screen is pretty useful <laughs> that's pretty so then cool. and then i can go oh jump so okay i like this planet so jump to uh okay and then it takes me to here which i can see the planet but also if i hit return it, it did already center center the mini map on on the star system Right. So as long as you remember the name, it's like, oh, okay, here. And then, okay, so, and then I, I'll just send a colony ship here because I know it's already surveyed because I can see the survey. Right. So that's, yeah, and I did that for like five or six planets because I, was, I just did nothing but that for like a week. Like just waited for my resources, built one colony ship, looked for the next best planet, went there, built metal alloys and nothing else and like pretty much didn't build anything on any of my other planets because I just had such low stuff. Okay. But yeah, as you can see now, I'm getting 324 metal alloys. Uh, Holy yeah. shit. And I'm building tons of stuff again. All my planets are full of yum stuff. Weather control, space elevators. Jesus. Do you know what I did? I, I, I went through my whole... Uh, colony system and i got supercomputers on each oh yeah that's good i just realized that you know that would be a real good sort of bump for them all and i was doing the the, the neural net too so because it's does that double your research yeah like if you get the the super net on everything yeah yeah that's a good one to have population cloning you know there was something about it i just i just couldn't do it from a philosophical point of view <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's fair. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, you're not making exact clones of all your citizens, but you're using cloning technology to make clones and like just adjusting the DNA a little bit every time. So you kind of create new population, but yeah, ethically, it's probably a terrible idea. Isn't this like sort of like a blueprint for transhumanism? Like, aren't we? <laughs> that's, that's something completely different. Yeah, it's like 1700 research, we've got the same amount of research pretty much. Yeah, the thing so, is, like, everyone's flying blind. Like, you don't have any stats to tell you how you're doing against anybody. Like, when you, go, leaderboard. you can see the preview over here. Um, which one? Uh, up on the top right of my screen here. There's this little box that pops out. Yeah. Uh, then I'm working on a leaderboard, and it will go here. Okay. Yeah. That's so cool. I, yeah. I, I, and then you'll what it'll do is it'll show you say uh okay like your your research your you know number of planets or something like that um number of ships. military yeah military like a like maybe five different things yeah and it'll say like second place or first place or eighth place but and it'll also show you all the other places but if you don't know the empires that are in those slots it'll just say unknown empire okay so you can see oh okay uh uh, Cap of Sweep is the third place in this, and I'm I'm the fifth place, but I don't know who the fourth place is, for example. Okay, that, that's going to be huge. Yeah, I think it'll help a lot. People will be like, oh, shit, I got to really jump, get get on this research thing or whatever it is, yeah. Or resources. Wow, I'm getting, like, way more resources than anyone. That, that How many like, capital yeah. ships do you have? Um, I'll bet you I could send my two battleships in and wipe out most of your planets. I have nothing. So I... <laughs> I could wait. I could send my Yamamoto and Bismarck. <laughs> Did you know? But I would get mad at you, and then I would retaliate. And by the time you took out a few of my planets, I would be at war with you. <laughs> because yeah, right now, uh, 
here's what I'm researching. Advanced warfare. See, if I didn't know you, I you'd be the first people, you would be the first I would take out. Well, yeah, I mean... I'm I'll, not I'll saying I, I, I'd be able to, but I'm just, I don't know. I just feel like the, your neighbors, like you either make them friends or you got to invade them because they're going to invade you. Like what happens if he's building up his fleet and then one day he comes with 10 super battleships and just wipes the shit out of me? Sure. You know, because I mean, it seems like you, you build a big fleet and then you send them in. I mean, you either got to scatter your fleet. Like right now I've got four fleets, you know, it's, it's like I've got, I'm scattered. Yeah, I see you got a couple battleships right here. Oh, are you looking at mine? Yeah, well, I can see some of your stuff. I can't see all of it. <laughs> But like, for instance, down here, uh, you'll see this funny looking star system. Irado? Yeah, see, it's got yellow on the one side and blue on the other side, and it says contested ownership. Oh, you're sharing it with somebody? Yeah, so the uh, the Capraria hierarchy or whatever, and then I got a planet over here. So we've been, we've been having, you know, peace here for a while, so I think they're pretty good. Who are I've they? Do you know, do you know who they are? Uh, that is Jack. So you know them? Yeah. I also know the three people who are at war with me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, they're friends of mine in Canada, and they just wanted to declare war on me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. One of them didn't know it was me, but the other two did. So the and... three of them are together in an alliance? Oh, actually, no. Sorry. I only know one of them. Uh, all right. I know two of them, but out of the two people that are, like, pretty good... I only know one of them and the other person, I don't know. They just apparently have signed an alliance or defense pact or something with them and they're working together. It looks like. So when, when do you get to share research ever? Uh, so how does it work? Like, can you swap research with people or. Yeah. So like, for instance, um, who am I? Where are you? Oh yeah, so we only have, uh, we have a mutual exchange treaty. So what we'd have to do is propose a defense pact. Yeah. And then after we have a defense pact, then we can make a research pact. And after we have a research pact, we can make a, oh, we don't have to have a research pact, but but after you get a defense pact, you're, you're now able to do a research pact and you're also able to do an alliance. Oh, okay. Because the thing is like, let's say to the person to my left, it would make sense to have me as a part as a, a war pack because then I would get anyone coming from the center. Like we're going, if anyone's going to attack us, it's going to come from the right, right? Yeah, like in the middle here, I decided to put a colony <laughs> right here uh, on this planet, and then he suddenly started bombing me and like spent all day, every day bombing me like over and over again, <laughs> <laughs> and I was never able to get my. I built ground ground batteries. But yeah. then he just he'd bomb them out of existence, and then eventually just bomb my whole planet out of existence. And then I guess later he colonized it. Apparently, so and when he was bombing you, like how many ships did he have? Just one or two, but it just consistently bombing me over and over again. He he was using biological weapons at first, and then later mass drivers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what do you do? Like you just you say you're attacking, and then it goes on for a while, then it stops, or like how does the the well yeah the bombarding doesn't take long like an hour in the game so oh, okay. but i'll show you i think i have yeah here we are so for instance yeah i've been bombed a few times i think this is the last time i was bombed so if you click on report it says oh yeah okay so he used there's a bit of a bug there but he used four xeno biological weapons on me killed at least a thousand and the planet has started to experience abnormal weather patterns. Yeah, the if you bomb the planets enough, they, they start messing up their their you know the weather and all sorts of stuff. Oh wow! And then if I click on here, yeah, you can see like okay, it was just one battle cruiser apparently, and only killing a hundred civilians. I mean, that's nothing. Well, that's what that's where I I think that was like I say like the last time. So that's the last of my population. He bombed. <laughs> Let's see if I can find another one. The last, the last survivors. Yeah. Where'd you get that report from? Uh, well, uh, if you click on your game messages, you'll get the last hundred messages. Right. 
Uh, and yeah, I just happen to have some still here. And you just click on it? Yeah. Yeah, once you have bombing, like yeah, if you if you go bomb someone, it'll it'll give you that instantly. Like it'll just it'll just pop up and say orbitally bombarding, and then it'll give you the results. Um, but yeah, if you bomb someone else, they'll get a game message that says your plan has been bombed, and then you can go and look at here, and then click on report. And oh yeah, see, he used four mass drivers on me this time, and he reduced the biodiversity of the planet. Yeah, still same. Yeah, this is just, oh, battleship. Okay. Yeah, bastards. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the last ones too. But yeah, honestly, like if they come at you with mass drivers and you have a population of like ten billion, they're gonna take out like hundreds of millions of people every time. Oh, really? Yeah, it'll it'll massively destroy your planet. It, but you can build subterranean shelters, which your citizens will run and hide in, basically, and it'll save them. Right. And How your buildings are still at risk. How good is the planetary shield? I'm just starting to start one on my main planet. Um, like if you planetary shield, does that stop all bombing and shit? Well, there's planetary shield generators, but there's also planetary gravity shields. The gravity shield you get much earlier in the game. I don't think you'll have shield generators for a while. Why? Well, what do I? I'm building. You probably got anti gravity, right? I have anti gravity, and I'm building a planetary shield. Yeah, so it'll be planetary gravity shields. Okay. But later, uh, I'll just show you. I'll show you a little preview here. And you don't have any gravity, so if you like my ships, if I go against someone who doesn't have any gravity, I could just whip around their little sections and never be caught, right? Um, well, yeah. I mean, they you can definitely outrun them. So yeah, you could do a lot of hit and run damage for sure. There's I mean, not much. You just move from place to place. Yeah. I, I that's it. I'm going to send my. I have the. Do you know this ships the Schnarhorst, Schnarn, Scharnhorst, and the the Nisehow? No. In World War II, the Germans had these two battle cruisers. The, the their big ship was the Bismarck and the Tirpitz, but they also had these battle cruisers. So I made two of them. I'm sending them north, and then I'm going to cut across, and then I'm just going to send them through and just see what kind of devastation. I'm getting bored, so I want to <laughs> want to start having some action. I don't care. Well, here I'm giving you a bit of a preview of what's coming. Okay. So, like, um, yeah, you got anti gravity, which gives you the gravity shields. But if you go over to engineering at the very end here, large scale shielding, you actually get planetary shield generators. Those are much better. Okay. But the, um, the, yeah, like, here's a preview. How, like, how, like, how, what would the first one do though against normal ships? Like, how do you, um, the planetary gravity shield will basically, yeah, it's, a, it's, how does it work? It's, uh, it a hundred percent prevents invasion. So they cannot invade you at all with those shields. They have to destroy the shields first with bombs. Oh, okay. Um, and then they, I think they protect like 25% of the time. They'll kind of, um, nullify the bombs. Like they'll bounce off the, the atmosphere kind of idea, the gravity shield. I think it's about 25 percent huh whereas and then okay yeah they 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 definitely like with planetary gravity shields they definitely can't invade you with transport ships like send troops down but they can still use uh if they get teleportation they can still just teleport right through those shields okay uh but when you get the actual planetary shield generators like you know the sh energy shields then they can't transport through these. Okay. So how is anyone supposed to know all that? Like you're, you're like me, you've got no manual and you got all this knowledge. Eventually. I mean, I want to make a guide, but yeah, they don't, there's no, there's no way for them to know any of this stuff for sure. Do you have, <laughs> you have the structure for a guide? Yeah. I think then I give you the draft version already. I don't think so. Oh, I'll give you the draft version right now. Um, yeah, basically I just need to, spend some time and like really you know what? It. you could get every if you gave it to everybody we could all make it for you like if you made a wiki of it you could just have all the people add their stuff on and so sort of make it up as you go and have other people add stuff yeah i thought about it um i mean that would just save some time for you maybe if you got a couple of people who are really into it and like to write it's true 
because you've really like i was thinking today like holy shit man i mean you did a really good job here oh thank you a lot of thought like just and then to put it all together so the math works that must have been pretty interesting oh yeah yeah i mean a lot of work for sure excel yeah. spreadsheet like how did you do it like what's your like what was your prime reference point for the math oh paper and pencil no i don't mean that i mean like i get like it's more time right you got to figure time and then worth time versus the uh you know. oh like the how long research takes and all this kind of stuff yeah yeah some of it was trial and error that's why this is like not the alpha this is the beta uh and i had two alphas before this beta just with like a few people just to you know try to get it right and then i tweaked everything a lot in the first two so how like what kind of uh feedback have you gotten in the last couple of weeks since we spoke kind of um yeah the players who like playing a lot like the game a lot and i of course i only get feedback from the people who want to talk to me but <laughs> yeah they're pretty consistent with bug reports and also like they have a lot of good stuff to say and sometimes so that, that, how many people sort of are talking to you about this probably like six people are they how many of them were the originals from the last beta uh two okay. well three if you include yourself okay so i don't know i'm just throwing six out there let's see one two three like there's uh i think 12 people on our discord and they all talk once in a while but as you see like dm randy and i don't know if you're on there much but i'm not okay there's two or three guys that are like always talking on there maybe four and they actually are it's nice because they've been talking to each other a lot lately too about like like one of them will ask a question about the game and the other one like, oh yeah you just have to do this which has been pretty nice that's that's, <laughs> that's where you're going to get a lot of your uh stuff your manual you know and yeah i guess if there was a do you know what you could do why don't you do something like this you can get like a hundred metal alloys per week additional if you participate in the discord yeah yeah i mean no. some people just don't have the program or anything but what i'm going to do for sure is i'm going to send out a game message probably tomorrow or well pretty soon and offering the 500 metal or 500 resources of your choice to show up for the and like participate in the uh zoom discussion okay that'll get the people in i think so have you set a date or time for that? No. Um, so I think you should pretty soon just to, because we, we've gone quite far and. Yeah, it's true. No, not many came to the last one. So that's like, we need like a big discourse yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, we need like five, 10 people, something like that would be nice. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe a Saturday. Like next Saturday? Yeah, like on the 17th. Yeah, okay. What time? Um, um, let's see. Today's Monday, right? Yep. Okay. Taking like five o'clock on Saturday. Okay. Uh, you like PST. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that'll bring the people in. Yeah, I think so. And like, they'll all definitely get the invite because it'll be a game message, you know, with the Zoom link and also the the write up about the reward. Oh, look, look, you got fourteen of what are those? The oh, halogens. Yeah, I'm suffering. Halogen. You are low on those. Yeah, so I just started building all these halogen things on my planets again. Uh, but eventually I'll get rid of them because as soon as you get, uh, uh, in materials, as soon as you get augmented metals, yeah, then you don't need any, you'll never have halogens or actinides again. 
I know, but wh how do you, where do the alkali metals and the other one come in? Um, so these two things will disappear. All, okay. all three of these will move to the left and then alkalis and alkalines will be on here, the next two. Oh. Yep. And where and do you get them from? Like, how, do you, get how, do you, how do you know you have them? Uh, well, I mean, right now you could go to... Like, will you have a lot more? Uh, you'll have a sufficient amount to start with because just because like all your planets that you've built up will have like social developments and all this stuff. So they'll automatically be producing some, but like, if you look here, you'll see alkaline and alkali is there on all the, all the planets already. Okay. So you can kind of prepare for that if you want, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. But are they, it would be nice if it was a big input, like a lot more. <laughs> The rich get richer. <coughs> well, yeah, I mean, it depends, right? Like some of the, you might already have planets that are super rich in it. No, because, but you see what's happening is like, because now stop colony production so much and folks on military, but then the big battleships, they cost a lot. And so like, it's almost like now you got to wait like what every two days to get like a couple going and you can't really do much else. I mean, you can, but now I'm doing longer term that, that take a long time that I hopefully don't take as much in the resources. Well, yeah, you got to get your resources up for sure. Otherwise you're not going to be able to support your military anyway. Yeah. You got it. And so definitely use the civics, use the planet survey thing, go, go get those ones and then just concentrate on making like a bunch of, you know, a bunch of, uh, I, I would concentrate mainly on metal alloys, but also lanthanides. Lanthanides are good for like big for military. Okay. Yeah. Fuck, that's a neat little thing there. I mean, that's a hidden, that's an advantage, what you just showed me. Yeah, that's pretty nice to have this, actually. I think maybe you want to show show that one at during the, the Saturday. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, give some t and also say you're going to give some tips. But I guess and people who don't come can obviously watch the Zoom afterwards, so... Um, I think that'd be great if we did something like that every two weeks, maybe like start to get people excited, start to get people knowing who the other players are. Like what's missing I find is that camaraderie or the friendship or just the fun that comes when you're playing with or against people. Right. And it just seems yeah. this game at some point, it's going to be allies fighting against big allies. Like there's going to be some big war at some point, right. At the end. Yeah. Well, it'll be soon. It won't be at the end. Really? really? <laughs> Yeah, people are already starting to fight a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, like, because we're running out of space, right? Which is the whole idea of this. That's why if we had 100 people in here, it, it would have been, it would have been even faster. Oh, okay. So, because, like, you and me and, and the Carpian, whatever, we're, like, taking up this bottom left corner. It's pretty full now. Like, there's right. some planets here and there, but we've got all the good ones. Right. So, and we're expanding. That, and what about the rest of the map? What does the rest of the map look like? Uh, well, I can only see what my radar shows me. So, like, I can see your. Is this you, you? Don't have, you don't have a special button that shows you everybody. No. <laughs> no, I don't actually. I, I'll probably build one at some point. Uh, you, you need to, like it'd be neat to be able just to, you know, there was a cosmic supernova, and you get to see the whole map for like five seconds. Well, but then people have to be logged in during that time. Right. But yeah, I, I'd like to add more random events for sure. And that's not a bad one, yeah. No, because it, like, it's like those stupid earthquakes, right? I just got an earthquake that just set something back five years for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, and it slows down the product, the re, or construction of the rest of the planet. I had too. an earthquake that took out my shipyards on my main planet. I couldn't build ship. I couldn't do nothing. That's like <laughs> yeah. a major problem. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Okay, so let's switch. Let's switch, okay? Because uh, I want to talk about the. Is there anything else we need to talk about in here? No. Okay.